How's it folks? Sorry, listen, that last video that I made, I, I made that two nights ago, right? And I, and I got emotional. I'm not gonna lie, I started greeting, right? Men can cry. Right? I'm just gonna dive into this story, right? Because it's fucking tragic. It's so sad, right? That this lad's life got attained at 18 years of age, but son just didn't add up at the time. Son just did not add up when I very first heard about it, right? So I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened, then I'll go back, then I'll rewind a bit, right? Just so you know, roughly, what I'm talking about, right? So, there's this laddie called Ian Deegan, right? Macy's childhood, growing up, his mum, basically man to warn her, she cancer, oh no for her life, right? So Ian was basically, staying between his dad's, my dad's, my grand's, his family's, can, because his mum's no well, warn her, right? She's an absolute diamond, a woman, God rest her soul. So Ian was always a bit of daredevil, right? He, he, I was born in six. He was born in six of December, eighty eight. I was born in six of January, eighty nine. Exactly four weeks of difference, right? When I was a baby, he was the very first baby that I knew. He was the very first toddler that I knew. He was the very first childhood friend that I knew, and he was really like a brother to me more than anything else. Every time I was at my dad's, he was at his dad's. Every time weekends were always hooked up. Our my dad and his dad between them at Safari Park. We went and done some. He was always a daredevil, right? I knew some. I just. I had a bad feeling something bad was going to happen to him, right? So I'm going to dive into Christmas time, right? So he turns 18, I turn 18, I was turn 18 in the January, right? He's begging me to go to Livingston, to a house party, right? And he's telling me that it was guys that he was walking with and he knew these guys and were fucking sound and blah, blah, blah. So Ian goes to this house party, right? He asks, he's begging me to go and I'm saying, Ian, you know what I'm like? If I go, I'm going to come back. Ian was staying at my man's that, that, that Christmas, right? You couldn't make this bit up. So my man goes to Asda to get a few odds and ends. She bangs it at Ian's dad. Ian's dad's like, hi Jane, how you doing? Is Ian alright sitting here? But blah, blah, blah. Like, of course it is, Remy. Remy's phone rings. Ian's dad's phone rings. He answers the phone. He drops the, sorry, this, my phone's been dark. He drops the fucking phone. He can't talk. My man's like, Remy, what's wrong? What's wrong? He grabbed my man, started crying. She says, Ian's dead, right? So my man's dropped her messages. She came back to my but I'm saying, man, where the fuck's Ian? Why is he not him yet? My mum couldn't tell me, my mum was so numb. This laddie was my fucking brother all my life, right? Me and him done everything together. I still grieve to this day out of him, right? I still talk about him. I feel I'm still getting emotional now. The reason I'm feeling so numb the last couple of weeks is because somebody's came out and said something, and it's really fucked me off, right? So basically, Remy tells my mum, Ian's deep chain. So he turns out the message and starts crying. And Asda, right? How fucking mad is that? My mum brings it to Ian's dad and Asda, right? Then my mum comes home and tells me eventually, I can't go to bed on Christmas Day. I'm saying to myself, I held his cottage funeral. There was a, that Christmas, there was a Christmas night out on the, on the uh, boxing night, and it was good DJs, right? John and Cena being one of them. We used to do the arches all the time, right? I'm like, I was saying, just go, see, we'll just go. So I went, I swear to God, it was like my fucking 21st, I'm a, I'm a fucking 50th birthday party all the one time, because every single person came out to me, they cuddled me, and said, so sorry about Ian, because everybody knew how close I was to Ian. I had one of his cords, right, and I was the last person I wanted to go, I just couldn't drop it. Me and his sister got his funeral at his grave, back in front and visit him. And somebody came out, a couple weeks ago, the conscience got the better of somebody, right? Somebody came out and said some shit. He was the only person that couldn't get the house that night. He was sleeping. He was trapped in the oven room. Now, he's at a fucking house party, right? You just make this, you just add this up yourself, right? He's at a house party. He falls asleep. There's a, there's a fire. Every person gets out of that fucking flat, apart from my aim. How's that? Why was he left in the living room? Why was he sleeping? How the fuck did he not wake up? Why was he even in the living room? If it was a party, why was he there? Somebody's came out and says some shit, some fucked up shit. Conscience got the better of him. Now I'm not going to say too much in this video, but the reason I'm making this video is because I was going to do something fucking crazy. So I made this video so that way 